guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to give you a preview of Parallel 16 for the M1 Mac. I am running this fella on the M1 Mac Mini. I have Windows ARM 64 installed on Parallel 16, the, <laughs> the insider program version, the technical preview edition of it. I've got access to it. I'm giving you access to see how it looks like. Right now on the screen, we've got Sonic All-Star Racing. Also in the background, what's that? We got Steam on the screen. We have Epic Games Launcher. It runs pretty much just like Windows. I'm gonna be checking out how fast it all runs. I've got the frame counter all up in there. So let's jump into Sonic All-Stars. And it does feel nice and smooth. I've set it on lowest graphics because I wasn't sure if it would run. But as you can see, Windows ARM is emulating x86 on an M1 Mac Mini, running no problems, smooth as butter over here. You can play with the graphics and improve it. And I don't even have the latest version of Big Sur. I still have a software update to do. But as you can see, Windows is up and running. Free graphics is on the screen. So performance wise, this is actually running pretty well. I remember in the older versions of Parallels, this used to be pretty choppy on my more powerful Intel based MacBooks. But now it is running smooth. They've obviously done a lot of work to improve the gaming performance. And that work has been reflected on the M1 Mac Mini Edition. Also should work on the, oh, I got done. Got done. Epic Games Launcher, on the other hand, it is on the screen here. And I'm just trying to understand how to use it because they've changed the UI. It's a bit of, oh, there it is, library on the left. It is, there is a bit of bugs as you can see. I don't know if it's because of Parallels or if it's because of Epic Games Launcher. I know sometimes when you install it, it doesn't install well. And you need to empty out the web cache and then it works again. So hopefully I'll figure out how to use it. There is something on the screen. So this screen works 100%. So it looks like it is a web cache issue that I've got. Oh, Unreal Engine 4 requires a 64-bit operating system. You can, of course, compile Unreal from source. I've done that on the Mac Mini here, actually. I'll show you in Xcode. So this is the source code of Unreal Engine. What's cool is they do support ARM. As you can see over here, you got Mac x86 and you got Mac ARM64. So there is some works to get Unreal Engine working on ARM64. Or maybe that's just the development of the application, not the actual editor. We don't know. We need to find out, do some source code compiling. But I do have source code. Potentially, you can compile source code in Windows ARM and it should run if you can fix all the errors. I haven't done that yet. I'm just giving you a preview of what the situation is. So I'm just going to try running Night Raid DX12. I don't think it's going to work. Let's see what happens. Yeah, error has occurred. DX12, I don't think is supported in Parallels in general, let alone the M1 version of Parallels. Let's close that for now. I think I wanna try Counter-Strike, because I know Counter-Strike on Mac doesn't work. It just gets a black screen, so will it work in Mac emulating Windows on ARM, which is actually emulating x86 Counter-Strike. We're updating it, and it's about to launch. All right, it's just stopping. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the latest version of Big Sur, and then get back to it. All right, so we're back, we've reset. Full screen now works in, back, in Mac OS Big Sur, the latest one, the update. So we're gonna try Counter-Strike again, hit play. All right, CSGO is a no-go on Windows and Mac so far. Some titles like Resident Evil 2, they just say you can't install it, it requires Windows. I'm gonna try and for example, Call of Duty Ghosts, it says the game you're installing requires 64-bit version of Windows. So some titles won't allow it to run purely because we're running the ARM version of Windows. Look at that, very smooth. This is Tomb Raider Underworld. All right, a bit choppy there. I almost forgot I was in Parallels a second ago. So yeah, it looks like 32-bit games will run on the ARM version of Windows being emulated in Parallels on the M1 Max, but 64-bit, that stuff isn't supported. Whee! What's going on? Hello, hello. Games do run, they run pretty well. I was playing Tomb Raider, about 10 year old games. 32 bit works, 64 bit games, I couldn't get them working whatsoever. So that is the situation there, but they did run nice. Very, very nice parallels is getting pretty good at gaming nowadays. All right, that's enough of gaming. Now I'm gonna go into, so this is the 64 bit of Free Studio Max, and it says right there, you're attempting to use a 64 bit installer on a 32 bit operating system. So 100% no 64 bit apps are gonna work on the 32 bit operating system. 
So this is Office Professional Plus. This one is both the x86 and the 64-bit version of the app. So this one should install. There you go, word on the screen works completely fine because it's the 32-bit version. Android Studio, the 32-bit version of Android Studio, that guy launches, unfortunately, you can't emulate x86, the emulator, because you don't have the calls to do that, but I did try, and I saw as far as I could go. So create virtual device, Pixel 2, and I go for Oreo because Pi, Q, and 30 aren't supported. x86 image. Run, run, run. All right, unfortunately, it looks like, yeah, the emulator won't launch. So I guess virtually emulated stuff won't work. 64-bit stuff won't work, but 32-bit stuff is working. Visual C++, this is a 2010 version of Visual C++, 32-bit. I got it up on the screen. Ah, oh, I remember the days when I used to program on this guy, a beast. That's the good thing about having emulation is that you can run old versions of Microsoft's tools, IntelliSense, that was the best back in the day. It does launch, however, I think you really need to be using an older version of Windows, maybe Windows XP to work it well. Unable to start program because I can actually get the Win32 API running with, it did compile, but it just wouldn't run the Win32 API. I think that's maybe a conflict with Windows 10 or maybe I just need to do a bit more debugging. But if you need things like the Edge browser, Internet Explorer, you can get going and generally it is very, very smooth to operate. It's just support for 64-bit applications is lacking at the moment. So I don't know what's gonna happen there in the future. Hopefully they might be able to figure out or maybe that's just life. You get the 32-bit applications. I guess it will get you to support old school Windows. But stay tuned, let's find out. I'm glad there is some sort of workaround to get a nice running version of Windows. Pretty good frame rate in the gaming, playing Sonic, playing Tomb Raider, playing Grid. All that kind of stuff, although Grid Autosport wanted to run at 5K resolution, so it ran very, very slow, about 15 frames a second. But other than that, it ran pretty well. So that was the technical preview of Parallels. But before I go, let me just show you how to quickly set up a virtual machine. First, what you need to do, you need to go into Google, type in Windows, ARM, Insider, something like that. There you go, download Windows Insider preview of ARM64. And to get Eligibility to download it, you need to be a member of their Windows Insider program and you just sign up by clicking on learn more, create an account on Microsoft, click sign in and you're able to download the ARM version of Windows. Once you've got that downloaded in Parallels, it's just pretty easy. You just click create new, install Windows or other OS images. It's already detected that I have the ARM version of Windows downloaded. I can also choose manually, select file, I think I've downloaded it to the downloads folder, so just select it there. And then just click create. It's gonna go ahead and create it. Once it is created, what I recommend you do is go into the settings buttons there and you can configure it for gaming, productivity, and all that kind of stuff. I've set it to the defaults, but ideally you wanna go into hardware and maybe boost the number of processors. I set mine up with four, you can go all the way up to eight. Memory, I've set mine out to four gigabytes RAM. You can of course go up to eight if you have that much RAM. I wouldn't go close to the RAM that you have on the system. So for example, on my system here, I've got eight gigabytes. So I just said half of the processors and half of the RAM gets dedicated over to Windows. Graphics is auto and that's pretty much it. That's as good as it goes. You can also go into options and then optimization, set it to no limit if you want maximum performance on Windows or just balance the resources between Mac and Windows as the story folds and pretty much you set up as easy as that and you're up and running in no time. So hope you guys have found this technical preview of Parallel 16, the ARM version for the M1 Max. Found it useful, exciting. Are you excited about running some Windows apps? Which Windows applications did you want to use? Are you maybe disappointed that 64-bit applications don't currently work? Is that what you're holding out for? Did you maybe want to be able to run the Android emulator in emulated Windows in M1 Max? That would be crazy. That'll be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.